I do not need speed, I need pop. Precision and pop. Ooh, okay. All right, early November. It's been raining a bunch. We finally got a little break. So I'm gonna come out here and try to work between showers. So let me explain what I'm trying to do. Okay, we're near the bottom and I wanna update this section a little bit. So first, let's ride down. Look at the new feature I put in. So previously, this little takeoff was a hip to the right over the ferns. And now I built a straight shot to jump over. It's something like, whew, something like 20 feet. So you can come barreling down from the top, tons of speed, should be an easy float down. I haven't been able to try it yet because it's pretty greasy. Uh, I'm scared to hit it, but I think it'll work pretty well. Uh, but now I want to edit this section a little bit to build just a little more flow into it. What I'd like to do is make that new gap hittable from both the high line driving down and then the main line coming through the center. My fear is that if I sit to the right, I can't square up. I, I don't think I can do the little double and hook and go far enough. And this is a bit too much of a chicane to go on the left side of that little uh, stump purple bush. So what I'd like to do is put another little terrace that I ride up a little bit onto this berm, turn it into a bit of a lip, and do just a little rhythm section to straighten it out. So step one, step two, step three. So this will just be a bit higher. So come off the berm, just a little floater, drop in, cut a lot of that out. So it's a nice little rounded bit. And then just a little float, hop over the berm, land here and go. So let's get started. All right, so far so good. The rain's holding off. I've got the first batch of clearing done. So a few good piles. Let's take a look at the line. So I want to be able to come flying down here, a little chicane bit. I'll probably shave out even more of this. We'll see, but I can already see. I need to take out a bit more, kind of taper down into the tree. And I want to be able to drop and kind of have a bit of a curve back. <sighs> that tree is probably going to have to go, but a bit of a curve back so that by the time you get here, you can hop on a little kicker, land about here and have some boost for the big gap. All right, I'm liking how it's coming together. A couple hours in, got most everything cleared off. The shape's starting to get there. So come over, hop off the berm, little gap into this nice quick transition, hop off the other side, clear the berm, hip to the left a little bit and squares up nicely for the big gap over the ferns. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Fall colors starting to drizzle on me and I'll get a rainbow just start to finish. Pretty cool. All right, what a day. This turned out better than I expected. It was supposed to pour all day. Afternoon's been pretty nice. So let's see, I cut out the berm, a bit more, a bit more support here. I started cutting out this hillside. I think I want to take another foot or so. Just walking it. I can see wanting to be a bit tight here, but smoothed out this landing a bit. Probably needs more. I want the berm to probably be a little bit taller. So it'll do double duty. The berm has more support, but also as the takeoff, to drop into this feature. I don't know what to call it. Um, in and out. So hop over the berm, in, quick, hop out. Should have decent enough speed. Maybe a mighty pull, but at least from what I can tell, that road, it's about this height. So I think with some pumping, it'll be doable. Ha, what a day, what a day. All right, just finished up that new bit. Let's go take a peek. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, water drains right through there. It stays muddy. Okay, so here she is. Even that little run up makes me fear I'm not gonna have nearly enough speed, but maybe we can get there anyway. Let's take a look and then we'll do some run-ups. Here it is. So the bottom, super muddy. This is actually staying pretty dry. So my work on drainage has really paid off. So we'll do some run-ups after we take a look at it. Hop over, what, uh, bike length or so. Easy drop in. Try to keep speed, pump out. 
only, I don't know, another bike length or so, try to hip, and I'll just run to the left side. Uh, I'm still weary of hitting the big one right yet. The landing on it is still pretty muddy and slippery, and uh, I'm just not up for it. Let's see, uh, otherwise, I edited this. I made a bit more of a roller, and that's just a pile of mud right now, so I won't play on that. But it should give a lot better roll in to doing backwards, and uh, I'm skeptical just looking at it that it's gonna work, but uh, primary, I want it to come towards me. So if I can get it to work both ways, all the better. All right, let's do some running, see how it feels. So I know it's a pretty short gap to get into it, but I don't think there's gonna be much room to stop once I'm in. So kind of have to commit to both, I'm afraid. Not afraid, but hesitant. Anyway, let's see how the roll-in goes. I'll try to cut this off. Oh yeah, that'll definitely be there. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. There's small gaps. I do not need speed, I need pop. Precision and pop. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that was good. Definitely don't need speed. It does come quick, but that was fun. Let's take a look-see. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> so rolling over that, that works fine. This feels decent. I might want to build this up a little bit more so you can sit outside and try to add more of a chicane to it. But yeah, easy land on the inside. No big deal if you come up short. Natural, it does come up fast. A um, little more speed, I think you can hip well. <laughs> I don't know about speed for the big one though. That felt pretty slow. It's nice to roll out. I think I can get definitely to the road. We'll see if that one's gonna be hittable. Definitely from the top, you'll be flying. So I'll do that a few times when I work up to it, gauge speed and see if I have enough off of this one. All right, on this one, I'll try and cut left and make it back up to the road. That roller off the road is just soup, but I wanna see what speed is like. So it's smooth, smooth is fast. Whoa, in and out. Whoa. Yeah, all righty, that will do. All right, next I wanna try going over the roller and hitting it backwards. Uh, it's a step up both ways, so I'm skeptical, but let's see what it feels like. Oh, I think it's there. <laughs> Gotta commit. Coming in about here, I have to hip the way I don't like, otherwise just nose it into a side of the hill. And not much of a landing, so probably follow the same line I took in. <laughs> I think it'll work. You gotta commit. There's not much time to stop. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm getting better at eyeballing it. It needs a little bit of work, but it's mostly there. And that's pretty exciting. All right. Oh, it's quick. Oh, man. A roller leaves a lot to be desired, but once it's hard, I won't have any problem kind of cutting into the curve. Something I struggle with is committing to features before I start the run. I have this mindset of, well, let's see how it is when I get right up to it. But I think I need the confidence to say, like, as soon as I start pedaling, let's get it. Whoa. Oh, no way, that's enough speed though. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop and then ride high. Oh, I don't think the speed's there, man. Let's commit. It's soft, got big suspension. I'm a good rider. Whoa. Oh. Well, I got in, but gased. So that says it all. Uh, I want to be able to carry more speed in there. I'm afraid to lean it over where you can see where the grass is starting to tip. So maybe that hillside gets shaved a bit. And I think a little bit less there, a little bit more there. And this will run. It's going to be quick to try to pop back there, but that'll be the progression. The easy route, obviously, take it under. <sighs> yeah, dude. Mostly success. Let's see. A couple more going the right way to end on a high note. All right, let's see if I can get back to the road with minimal pedal. Slow in, fast out. 
Oh boy, got the hip. <laughs> okay, I got some work to do. Okay, so what I really like is it doesn't take a lot of speed. It takes precision and balance. So let's balance. Oh yeah, I think with a little adjustment, I'll be able to get back to the road with no pedal. Pretty confident there. Shave that out, make one nice big arc from here to the takeoff. I think that'll play. Alrighty, good couple of days. Got a break in the rain, took advantage of it, made a cool little in and out feature, and it mostly works. Ah, I'm pretty excited. So all summer, I've been using the tractor down here thinking I only had it for a limited time, so I have done basically no shovel work other than uh, just finishing up the jumps after the tractor's laid it down. And just doing this little section reminded me of how much more work shoveling is. So, I don't know, it's well worth it. Like, this is a fun little feature, and obviously no way to do it with the tractor. So, pretty excited about the progress. Not too excited about the next two weeks of rain. 